found a little patch of dandelions here, guys, so I'm gonna get some greens. And these look really good. Good old dandies. So these plants are going into the flowering stage. And you take these flowers too and eat those. So I'll grab some of those. They've got uh, a fair bit of lithocin in them actually. So the flowers do anyway. And they're, um, they're really good. It's probably the best tasting part of the plant is the um, is the dandelion flower and you guys know what dandelions look like I mean their leaves are a little bit different and sometimes the stalks can be red here and they can have this pattern to them they can also kind of be more of just a nice flat curve right around here so like this one here you see how it's got a little arrow tip on it that can extend all the way down so and then um sometimes this part right here can have a red color in it it can be a really deep red and uh or it can be green and when you pick them off they got a little hollow structure to them and then there's this white sap that comes out of there and uh it's kind of like a little milky stuff but they're uh they're really good for you. Really, really good for you. And while we're in here, here's a little blackberry bush right here. This is the, um, it actually looks like the Himalayan blackberry. Little bug on there, but you can eat these, um, the, the fresh leaves here. I'll blow that guy off. There you go. So you can eat this part. And that's pretty good too. Blackberries have a um, there's a little bit of a sweetness to them, but they they've got more of this tartiness to them. And while they're in their mouth, in your mouth, they <laughs> they really dry things out in your mouth. So usually another thing that I do is when I pick them, I don't just pick all the leaves off of one plant. I usually leave some leaves on that particular plant just so that it can continue to grow. Because the dandelion is um, a perennial. So what that means is that type of plant will grow back from the same roots year after year after year. And as long as the roots and, and the plant is healthy, it'll, it'll just keep coming back. And I'm not sure how long they live for, but like, I imagine they live for quite a long time before they eventually die, but they uh, they come back every year, unlike an annual, which is, um, you know, something like a tomato or something. That's something where you plant and it only grows that one year, and then unless it reproduces, it's not coming back. So perennials, they, they produce over and over again, and they're really beneficial to the soil structure and the soil nutrients. They generally set their roots down really low, like down deep into the ground, pulling in a lot of nutrients for the plant. And yeah, perennials, man, eat, eat your perennials. You guys, perennials are amazing food sources and they're easy to grow if you're gonna gr grow, grow your own food. Some of these things like dandelions, you can grow these in your own garden. And uh, they're probably growing in your yard actually probably wondering man those things just keep coming back they're actually good for you here you go okay you be steady on your feet you there hon okay here you go See the bobber out there? When the
for flying. Yeah. at a nice little spot then I'm gonna cook up the two remaining fish in my fridge and make some fish tacos so that's what we're doing now Yeah. That's really good. Mm. Man, it's really noisy down here compared to the back country. A little fish bones in there, but I'm kind of picking them out. I think I got most of them out. Extra virgin. If you haven't tried out dandelion greens, I really suggest them. And it comes to wild plants and stuff like this, it's just do your research. Oddly enough, dandelions have made it into some of the regular grocery stores. Oh, really? And it's interesting. I have bought them occasionally and they taste just the same as these ones do. But when you can pick them fresh, it's way better. So you just want to clean this stuff when you pick it and be mindful of where you pick it from. Do your research. At the end of the day, you're always responsible for your own choices. Even though you've seen somebody do it online, you should still do your research. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna uh, enjoy the rest of my dandelion salad and uh, and chill out. So, hope you like the video. We'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.